Hey, what's up YouTube? I've been wanting to make a follow-up video to my free-to-play progression guide, and now seems to be a good time. We are getting close to the first anniversary of the game, and I'm thinking about where I want to take my account from here. My account is free-to-play because I wanted a challenge. Free-to-play in a gacha game is kind of like playing on hard difficulty, and that was fun for me. Now that my account is matured, difficulty isn't a factor anymore, but I will probably stick to free-to-play to keep my videos more relatable. The title of this video is of course a joke. Objectively, my account is in good shape. I've been able to clear mock with full stars every time since Luocha in patch 1.1, and I've been clearing pure fiction with full stars as well. But I've went about building my account with very heavy vertical investment. I'm now wondering if I could have done it a better way, and if I should continue with vertical investment. Let's take a look at my pull history. I have Jingyuan, Luocha, Blade, Jingliu, Ruamei, and Sparkle. And I've lost 4 50-50s along the way. Some were useful like Clara, but others were useless. Overall, I'd say my luck has been very average. Where my account deviates from a lot of other free-to-play accounts is that I pulled 5 limited light cones. Black Swan's cone was a happy accident, although I don't have anyone to use it on. And most recently, I got Before Dawn. My JY and QQ were tired of sharing the breakfast light cone. Vertical investment means that the player is focused on making a few of their characters really strong rather than summoning and building more characters. I would say pulling for 4 limited light cones falls squarely in this category. I tried to be smart about my choices because I pulled on light cones that were much better than their alternatives. Each cone is about 20% better than the next best. And that's also why I didn't pull light cones for my support characters. Even though I pulled on the best value light cones, was it the right choice? I've spent 246 pulls on light cones, and that would have gotten me two more, or maybe even three more, limited banner characters. I could have had a dot team with Kafka and Black Swan, or gotten both Fushuan and Huo Ho. These are pretty big trade-offs. But let me explain why I did what I did. I prioritized progression from the very beginning and wanted to clear MOC. After that, I wanted to clear MOC in fewer cycles. The quickest way to boost the power of an account that's only a few months old is to focus your investment on a core group of main characters. You have 8 to 10 guys with maybe 3 DPS, 4 supports, and 2 healers. You don't have the luxury of trying out different team comps and have to make the best out of what you have. If you want to see results, you invested more in that core group. Vertical investment is arguably more resource efficient than horizontal investment in a newer account. It takes 65 essential materials and around the equivalent of 80 purple traces mats to build up a decent new character. That's about 8 days of farming. If you want level 10 traces, add another week on top of that. You'll also likely run out of character experience and have to farm that as well. You start to fall behind in your relics if you're spending all your trailblaze power building new characters. But there's a few factors that's changing my opinion in favor of horizontal investment. The first is simply the maturity of my account. I've farmed a lot of good relics already, so building a new character doesn't compromise the progress of my existing roster. It's so hard to upgrade my relics that it's become more efficient in some cases to farm traces. Also, I have a lot of leftover relics that a new character can instantly put on to be useful. My hook is a good example of this with her rainbow relics. Another factor that has me thinking about horizontal investment is pure fiction. Hoyoverse designed pure fiction to highlight characters not used in MOC. I actually built up my Herta because of this. If they make Pure Fiction harder, I might need to build dedicated AoE teams for Pure Fiction. The buffs in Pure Fiction are also hyper-specific. If you had a DOT team built, you were feasting during patch 2.0. Having access to a wide variety of characters helps you take advantage of specific buffs in both Pure Fiction and MOC. And it's often the case that the buffs are so good that an average built synergistic character will perform better than a highly invested non-synergistic character. The last factor that is winning me over to horizontal investment is character synergies. In most of Star Rail, limited characters are strong by themselves. And if they needed dedicated teammates, they were 4 star supports like Tingyun with Jingwan and Sampo with Kafka. But since the introduction of Topaz and Black Swan, we now have characters built on synergies with other limited 5 stars. And trust me, we'll see more of this later on. We're seeing a trend that players are best served to expand their roster to take advantage of building the best team comps rather than fitting strong characters into suboptimal comps. The character synergies don't even have to be obvious like Topaz's follow-up attack combos. For example, Wohuo elevates dot teams to another level. Sustainers are not just for sustaining anymore. You need a specific sustain on a specific team comp for the best performance. 
So what's my plan going forward? I'm going to try to avoid pulling light cones, unless I have no alternatives to use. The game favors a wider roster over a taller roster right now. Buffs in different game modes are very targeted and character combos are getting stronger and stronger. I don't regret what I did because like I said earlier in the video, my account is objectively very strong and I can clear every content. Vertical investment is still a good path to take for newer accounts. Don't build random 4 stars for the sake of going wide. I just see a future where Hoyover shifts the power from relics and light cones into specific team comps for specific occasions. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with my thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.